Welcome back to the next Paper Flourish craft video. My name is Julie. Murphy is here with me. We'll see if he makes an appearance shortly. He's just having a sit down on the ground behind me, behind my chair. But I wanted to, I wanted to start making some Christmas cards. So hopefully you've had a chance to maybe make a start on your cards. I haven't yet, so I thought it was time to do it. And I love, I love traditional Christmas cards, but I also love something that's a little bit fun quirky and different so that's what I thought I'm going to do a bit of a series of uh, videos showing you some different ideas using these brilliant stamps from Jane Davenport uh, they've been released we have them now for sale in store and also in our online store paperflourish.com.au and today I thought I'd make try out some making some cards using the new Tim Holtz Holiday Distress Mica Stains. And this is set number four. He has brought out two sets. So I thought I'm going to I'm going to have a play today with set number four and these brilliant stamps. And Murphy is joining in. Hello Murphy. Um, the cardstock I'm going to use for my card front is the Lavinia watercolour card. And this is a five inch square piece. So it'll make about a, probably I'm aiming to make like a five and a half inch square card. These stamps are going to work on uh, your normal standard size card as well, your rectangular one, your squares. But I just like them because they're a bit quirky and different. So the mica stain set that I'm using, set number four, has a blue, a pink and a green. Shiny bauble, cocktail party and merry mint. And they're really pretty colors. Mica stains, so they have got a shine in them. You can see the mica at the bottom of the bottle. Good idea to store them on their side, shake them, and then bring them upright to spray them. The stamps, the Jane Davenport stamps that have been released for this Christmas. This is my favourite, and this is one we're going to be playing with today, the Sugar Bum Fairy. So we're going to play with that one today. I will also show you some cards I've made in a similar process to what I'm going to show you now using the Christmas Tree Fairy stamp. She's rather gorgeous. And also Figgy Pudding Fairy. They've got great names as well as great images. And they stamp beautifully, uh, these stamps. So I'll put these to the side for a moment, but I will show you later on a couple of card fronts that I've made using these stamps in the same process. So I'm going to use, today we're going to make a card using Sugar Bum Fairy. And it's got some nice, it's got the uh, stocking here. And it's also got a couple of nice sentiments. Well, this one's cute, naughty or nice. And we wish you a fairy Christmas. So really cute stamps. And I think she's just rather, rather different, quirky and adorable. Our sugar bum fairy. So that's the way. How many times do you think I'll be able to say sugar bum fairy in this video? We will see. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is use the mica stains to colour the front of the card. And I really want to, I want to use the pink and I've decided to use the blue as well. I think that'll make a really nice card. So I'm going to get my splatter box, which is here. You can see I've been playing around with this. It's a nicely decorated paper towels in here. So I'm going to start, I think we're going to, I want to have a pink middle to the card and some blue around the edge. So I'm going to give these a good shake, stir the mica around. And then I'm going to spray just in the centre of the card, just randomly. I'm going to have a piece of paper towel ready because if there's any area that's a bit heavy and I want to um, just um, take some of, the, some of the ink away, I can, some of that mica stain. But I'm getting the heat tool and the that and so I can see I've got a little bit heavy here so you can always just remove a bit of the mica stain as you go isn't that a beautiful pink as it dries it'll go lighter you'll see that start to happen and you're left with this beautiful pink shimmery surface on your card now if the card starts to bunch up like that I'm looking for the tool it won't be a moment there it is if you've got something, even could be like some tweezers or something, if you use this just to hold it down, it stops the card sort of buckling and bending quite so much. Now, I'm not going to completely dry it because now I'm going to bring in the blue. But have a look. See the pretty pink? And can you see the shimmer and shine on that? So this is the mica stains 
the new sets that Tim Holtz has released, the Distress Mica Stains. Let's go with a bit of shiny bauble. Now we get that. You can hear that now. The mica's mixing around. And I'm going to, I'm just going to focus this. Reason I dried the pink first is I find it tends to keep the colours separate a little bit more. They don't blend quite as much together. And I wanted to end up with that pink centre blue on the outside. So let's get the heat tool out again. See how it's just, it's starting to move up the card, buckling up. If I get my tool here, just hold it down as I dry it. Just keeps the, keeps the card a little bit flatter. End up with a fair bit. I might just get my paper towel and give it a bit of a wipe there. Okay, there. Murphy's wandering the room. I think he's getting hungry. And this blue as well, this dries quite a not just a nice sort of lighter blue colour as it dries, but really pretty shimmer. Very, very easy, quick way to make a background for your cards. And I thought these colours worked really well with the Jane Davenport stamps as well. Something a bit different, not your traditional Christmas. almost dry. I want it to be completely dry because we're not only going to be stamping, I'm going to be doing a little bit of embossing as well. So I want to make sure the ink's all dry. So we've got an interesting background, pink centre, blue around the edge. Okay. How's that going? I think that's pretty dry there. Right, let's move that out the way. So Blue, the pink, but isn't that pretty? The shimmer, the shine on it. Very easy. And you can stamp on this no problem at all. It stamps really, really well. Now, to before I stamp and emboss, I'm just going to wipe my anti-static pouch over the card. Full of a fine powder. And it's going to help stop the embossing powder sticking to areas of the card that I don't want it to. I'm using a clear embossing powder, so... It's not going to matter too much, but I think it's a good practice to always do before you do your embossing. So let's get our Sugar Bum Fairy stamp out of our package. I've said it again, Sugar Bum Fairy. I just think she's fantastic. Definitely a card to give to Nana, I reckon. It's Christmas. I'm going to use my stamp press because I want to stamp a cup, make sure I've, you know, I've got a really good image and I also want it to be, have a fair bit of um, ink on the card. So that's going to help the embossing powder stick. Now I'm going to, just on the side here, I've got a paper already folded in the middle, ready to pour the embossing powder back in. But the one I'm going to use is the Ranger embossing powder and it's just the super fine clear. So what it's going to do, it's going to bring the image out a little bit stronger on the card. Sugar, where is our sugar bum fairy going to go? I think she's going to go over here. Set it again. All right. Holding it down with the magnets. Oops, she's moved there. Just going to hold the card down. Okay, I think she looks good there. So let's pop that, pick up the stamp. Now I'm just I'm going to use the Versafine Clear Nocturne. It's a pigment ink. It'll stay wet long enough for me to get the the embossing powder on. So let's ink up our Sugar Bum Fairy. She needs it. Do you think she needs another name? I don't know. I think that's a pretty good name. But if you do, maybe pop it in the comments. Send me a comment. What do you think our Sugar Bum Fairy could be called? We are. stamp her twice that should be enough ink on the on the card there she is so I'll just pop that one to the side bring in the paper I've got my clear embossing powder so let's get that on the card straight away okay, shake it off going to take this over to my bin and give it a bit of a flick just to 
remove some of the excess embossing powder there. It's still a little bit up here. I've got a fine brush. I can brush that away. It's clear embossing powder, so it's not going to matter too much. It's just going to add up to the surface. There we are. So she's sort of disappeared, hasn't she? Where's that sugar bomb fairy gone? Let's try and pour that back in so I don't spill it. I'm very good at spilling powders and things on my work surface, which you've seen me do numerous times already. So let's bring our sugar bum fairy back in. I'm going to get my heat tool and I'm going to emboss that. And you'll see it come to life. As the clear embossing powder melts, the image comes back. See how it's given it a really good, strong image on the card. I've got a lot of different ideas for these stamps which said so I'll be doing other videos using those ideas so keep a watch out for those there's our sugar bum fairy also gives it a nice shiny shiny image as well the black putting that clear on top okay so there's some other stamps on the set so let's bring back my stamp press I could use the blocks I just don't have them out at the moment take her take the sugar bum fairy off so some of those other images that are on the stamp. So we've got Naughty or Nice. We've got We Wish You a Fairy Christmas. We've got the stocking. So I think she needs to be holding the Christmas stocking. I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to stamp these with the clear. I'm just going to stamp them straight with the VersaFine Clear. Black. So let's pop the stocking in place that up on the stamp press all right let's stamp that you could use different colors of versifying clear that would look really nice as well let's give her a christmas stocking to hold on to there she is okay what else have we got i really like naughty or nice the sugar bum fairy i think we need to put her name so the step they have the stamp the sugar bum fairy as well so i feel like her name definitely needs to go on the card so let's pop we need to make sure we can fit the other stamps on as well so i better just check that out sugar bum fairy we could actually i might put that up in the top corner and we might put the wish we wish you a fairy christmas down here I might not put naughty or nice on this one but it might go on another card that I make using the sugar bum fairy there we go so let's stamp those I might just do one at a time while I manage to do this one first so we wish you a fairy Christmas we're stamping it again with the nocturne versifying clear Stamping. There we are. I said I don't need to do a lot to this card. The background's already adding all the lovely colour for us. And then her name, the Sugar Bum Fairy. Can you believe they have a stamp called the Sugar Bum Fairy? up in the top corner there I think keep picking oh no I did pick up the right one there we go let's keep that up just make it a little bit stronger there we are there's our sugar bum fairy so that's enough of the stamping the only other thing I'm going to add to this card is some glitter. We always need some glitter, and I think she needs some glittery wings. Definitely some glittery wings. We might put a little bit on the top of the stocking as well. I'm going with Lavinia Holographic Glitter. 
for this and I've got my Sakura Quickie glue pen. So all I'm going to do is add some dots of glue to the wings. The Nouveau Aqua Shimmer pens would be lovely as well to colour in the wings. And then a little bit on the top of the stocking, just a little bit. If it's a Lavinia Holographic Glitter, sprinkle that on top. Making your wings sparkle of the excess. Again, I'm just heading to my bin. I always give it a flick on the back over the bin. So now she's got some pretty glittery wings. The stocking's got some glitter. There is our sugar bum fairy. I'll just pop this glitter back in the pot. So a bit of a different Christmas card. To make it even Christmassy, instead of the blue, you could have done green around. That would look quite nice as well. But the reason I wanted to go with the blue and the pink today. So there's our sugar bum fairy. But I wanted to show you what I've done with some of the other stamps as well. So the other ones I've got here. So we just use this one here, our sugar bum fairy. I've made it, I think I've said it about 20 times now, haven't I? So there's our sugar bum fairy. And again, 21. Now I made a similar card, similar card with this lovely stamp. And this is the Christmas tree fairy. What I did with this one, I've stamped her on, again, I've used a five inch square of watercolor cardstock and I used the green, the merry mint, and then I sprayed some of the blue, the shiny bauble around the outside. And then I then I dried it. So this one I did the two colours because they can't so they sort of blended in a little bit more together. Stamp the images again. I've embossed uh, the fairy with the clear. This has got the Merry Christmas Dear Friend and the present down the bottom. I've added a bit of touch of holographic glitter. And there's that one there. And then the other one I've done, I use the figgy pudding fairy. There's our Figgy Pudding Fairy. She's rather lovely too. And I've used this time, I did similar to what I did with the Sugar Bum Fairy card. I did the blue first in the middle. That's the Distress Mica Stain Shiny Bauble. Dried it. And then I did the Merry Mint Green around the outside and dried that. Stamped the Figgy Pudding Fairy with the Versafine Clear Nocturne. Clear embossed. And then I've just stamped the other images as well. Add a little bit of holographic glitter to the Christmas pudding stamp. And she's set. So they're not hard cards to make. But at Christmas time, sometimes you just want some quick, easy cards. And they're different, aren't they? And I think these Jane Davenport stamps are fantastic. So keep a watch out. I've got a lot of other ideas to make some Christmas cards using these stamps. So keep a watch out for those videos. In the meantime, enjoy making your Christmas cards, maybe some quirky different ones like I've just done. Enjoy your day and I'll be back again soon with a lot more videos. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.